before we begin, message to the haters, all you naysayers in the comments go, Your friendly choice has turned into what he hates, BuzzFeed. No, if BuzzFeed is the Earth's core, we have barely scratched the surface. You want BuzzFeed? I'll give you BuzzFeed. Just allow me to dress like a complete cunt. Ozzy snack review. The amount of snacks we got is literally ridiculous. Jesus, look at this haul. We got every snack Australian kids have used to think, Man, I hate having parents who love me. I wish my parents were like Michael's, who clearly don't give a shit, just giving him six pack of jumpies for lunch. And just to curb off the tsunami of no dunkaroos, we tried. Oh Lord, how we did try. We went went to one supermarket. Now, yes, jumpies, the snack for kids whose parents clearly voted Dick Smith. I don't think I've ever had one of these. I used to always go, please, can I just have one? And they go, fuck off, get your own. Pleasant taste, pleasant aftertaste, jumpies, clearly not a class act, but really nice. Jeez, these are like Pringles, ones you pop you can't stop. It seems a little bit sacrilegious that our coat of arms is just nom, 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 nom. But still, <laughs> it tastes patriotic. Everyone, do yourself a favor. Stop buying Red Rock Deli. Go back to Jumpies. There I said it. Samboy, to quote Dave Hughes, when chips were cheap. Samboy was definitely the shittest of chips, and I stand by that without even opening it up. This isn't like when you went back and watched Austin awesome Powers and realized it's not as funny as it was when you were 12. This is like Master of Disguise. It wasn't funny then, it's not funny now. Actually, I've completely changed mine. That is the reverse Austin Powers. This is amazing. Jesus, talk about a mega BBQ here. I reckon you could lick a barbecue and it'd taste less like a barbecue than this. And now we delve onto the classic snack of choice for kids whose parents were definitely crackheads. Coloured popcorn. How shit can you get? What is the difference between Friendly Geordies and a feeder channel at this point? It's me with my little fat, greasy fingers going, I can't get it. Oh, that awful, awful smell. Jesus. It's like they packed the Easter show into a bag. How do they get it coloured like this? And crackheads have it right as well? Jesus. Was the only person whose parents were wrong at school mine? Celery on peanut butter sucks. Move over Skittles. Taste the bow with this. Everything tastes great. Jesus, I feel like I'm in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And maybe I am, because surely... Boom! If this was up late poker, this would be the weapons of mass destruction hand. It doesn't get any better than wagon wheels, does it? I mean, what's there to hate for a six year old? Marshmallow, jam, chocolate. <laughs> I mean, do I need to say anything? Stop buying Tim Tams when you're an adult. Just go back to wagon wheels, no shame. I don't remember this, apparently Matt did. Lolly gobble bliss bombs. I don't know if you can do the whole, Cocoa Pops has five essential vitamins and minerals to lolly gobble pop bombs. I'm only four snacks in and I already feel like my mouth's having a seizure. Let's go on this one. Oh yeah. This is like going to the movies in Asia where they just have grip flavor the popcornery. This is the same. Matt, just gonna squeeze inside that bag. I mean, these little characters are basically just a photo. That is the happiest popcorn I've ever seen. Yay, I get to see the sunlight. Things can only get better from here. A goodie, but not an oldie. And by not an oldie, I think it's 24 years old at this point, aren't it's TV snacks. I remember them being on the television when television was the height of technology. This came out around the same time when everyone thought Bomb Funk MC's Freestyler was as futuristic as you could ever get. Whoa, they're using a Discman to freeze time. I bet you could do that with that. It's that technologically advanced. Nah, not into this at all. Nah. It tastes like a dog biscuit. Natural confectionery company. I don't even know if I want to open this packet just to not support this company. Purely because they have the most annoying ad of all time that Don't tip the dinosaur, daddy. How about daddy smack you in your stupid teeth? Yeah, I'm just gonna go on record. Snakes suck balls. 
They take too long to chew, and what's the reward? It tastes like red? I could have guessed that. Finally, onto the good snakes. Uncle Toby's roll-ups, real fruit, flat out. Sure, it's way better than all natural confectionery company. It has the word fruit in it. Put aside everything else humanity has ever created that is extremely environmentally toxic. This by itself has doomed humanity. Look at how much wrapping there is in this. Okay, first you take off that strange half tin foil, half plastic wrapper. No, you can't recycle that. Definitely not. What, what do you mean we could make that out of paper? Uh, what, what is paper? Isn't that made out of trees? That'd be worse, right? And then uh, just another wrapper of plastic. For no reason, why not? Well, we can't let the colours go into each other. They're the same colour anyway. This is all poo coloured. And I remember being five years old and going, how am I ever going to finish that Monet painting sized piece of fruit? Hands are stuck. Help! This is nowhere near as good as I remember it being. And uh, my hands just seem to be in a Chinese finger trap now. I don't really feel like eating that anymore. Yes, LCMs. The brand that uses the exact same advertising strategy as Lynx, but instead of attracting chicks, it just attracts a bunch of annoying, needy primary school kids that, what is the difference between you and seagulls? Is that what you're learning at school, to scavenge? Oh, take a whiz at that. Precious memories. Nah. I'm learning very quickly that my childhood was a lie. If you had one of those parents that just went, okay, you can have an LCM bar once a week because it's made out of wheat, that's kind of good for you. You've been sold a lie. If a lolly gobble took a shit, I'd eat the lolly gobble shit over an LCM. Yes, they're slowly getting bigger. Using the same strategy as McDonald's, eh? When you go back to the 70s, the large cup was a thimble worth of Coke, and now, would you like to upgrade your Coke from large to double gulp or to Lake Victoria? These must be so bad for you. It must be healthier to mud wrestle in Fukushima than eat five of these. Look at that, crystallized, colored, Sugar. How is this considered a snack? This is not food. Oh, oh my god. Let's just pause for a second. I'm gonna go to the fridge and just drink lemon juice. I reckon it'd be less bitter. All right, here we go. The nerd lemon juice challenge. Yep, there it is. But no, no. <laughs> you know what I miss most about primary school? Definitely not that every now and then there was a turd in the urinal. That's fine, you can keep that part. But remember being so excited that you squealed like a pig at least 10 times a week? Think about that. Recess and lunch, just this sound. <laughs> and seeing as we're in the middle of challenges, we're going to settle once and for all the debate, which is playing in Australia just as hard as Pepsi V Coke, Caramello, Koalas or Fritos. Which one's better? Let's find out now. Milk top Fritos? Why do we even need to do the challenge? It's clearly Caramella Koala. Who likes white chocolate? Dogs? All right, and eating the Frito frog who's playing tennis. Hm. Didn't know frogs liked that. And that is some very cheap chocolate. Caramello. Yeah, just for the surprising caramel burst. I was not as much of a fan of caramel as a kid, but it turns out things change like puberty. <laughs> I used to be so pretty. The Caramellos win that battle as easily as Hannibal won in Kanai. Which for people who aren't history buffs but are clearly YouTube enthusiasts, you can translate that to destroyed. And lucky last, easily the most divisive snack there was, Le Snack, because some people like me didn't like the idea of eating goo that was supposed to be cheese, whereas Matt couldn't get enough of it. And I think it's only fair that I eat this Le Snack now because I did force him to drink Chewy's Extra Dry, so it's a return on favour, but my god. As soon as I left the primary school playground, I thought I would never have to see that again. The fact that any parent thought this was healthy. Spend a second in a primary school playground where one of these Le Snack boxes is held up on the bottom of a seat by the cheese. It's the same consistency as blue tack. I don't want to do this. I'd rather down that entire bottle of lemon. There it is. Oh, that gobby aftertaste. How is this a snack? It's snot. How is snot a snack? Well, on that very depressing note, I'd ask you to press the like button as enthusiastically as kids 
drag on their mum's dress when they go, Mum, please, that's Star Wars too. Like you will apparate into stardust within the next three seconds if you don't click the like button. Please. And because we're just going full blown Buzzfeed, let us know in the comments what your favorite snack is. I'll be sure to read. Please share and comment below. Come in.